What's good, y'all? This is C Spotify Brewhead. I am Scott Pierre Cole, beer enthusiast. And welcome to the first ever edition of What's in My Cellar, a new segment uh, to complement our What's in My Fridge uh, segment that uh, we've only done uh, one of at, uh, as of right now at this point. Um, so we figured that the fridge thing, it, it's uh, I think it's more, because some people have cellar stuff and kind of what we're drinking. So if we're at someone's place who has a pretty impressive, whether it's a fridge or a cellar, we figured just like cool content just to show like what people are stashing. Like it's kind of like a voyeuristic little... Yeah, fr uh, fridge is stuff normally we're going through on a regular basis and then cellaring stuff, obviously we're aging it. Uh, some beers mature with age. They do. And uh, some are suggested to be aged, so... So this is my little uh, little cellar. Um, don't have much, and I understand. So before anyone like rags on me, I'm not like we haven't traditionally been like. This is a new thing, really. We just yeah. started cellaring beers relatively recent. I think it was more. We got this fridge a year and a half ago, like a Christmas gift, and uh, we were like, okay, we'll chuck some wines in there. I'm like, well, I had an overflow of beers, and some of them were ones I wasn't really planning on drinking straight away. So I was like, all right, we'll chuck them in here. Like, why not? And then started the process. Like I know a lot of dudes who are like huge on trading. They have ridiculous sellers, but I guess we'll get to that. This if we is, have the space, I mean, uh, we could start one really. But yeah, like these guys. I know are, I don't. So, no, and yeah. I like the temperature controls. Like we got on the low. Yeah, that's huge in cellaring. Like you can't have huge, a fluctuation right? in temperature. It has to be cool. So so it doesn't mess it cool because I mm. used to have them in boxes floating around. So it's kind of whack. So basically, I'm just gonna go through these. There isn't too many. So this one I actually got just the other day from uh, the homie Rob out in uh, Vermont it's a uh, Burlington Beer Company Cultivate Triple with blueberries so we were deciding last night we just got back from Vermont and we were stashing uh, going through all the beers that we had and we're like you know what like let's just uh, sell this bad boy this looks sexy as any thoughts on that uh, yeah I mean triple I, I think that's one of those higher ABV styles that you can sell her I think it works well um yeah, it'd be interesting to see how it matures. Take it on fruit. Yeah, we should kind of look Probably into... Probably sit into it forever. Yeah, maybe a little bit, like... It's just like there's no rush. Yeah. Since we got so many IPAs, and we're like, let's just sell anything we don't need to drink immediately. That's right. Because we came back with quite the overflow. Um, we got this bad boy, Sawdust City Limberlust. It's a barrel-aged farmhouse with red currants. Uh, you said you've had this before, eh? Yeah, we I had it when I... we did... Uh, at least I had it when we did the, uh, the rooftop... Podcast with uh, Sam Corbeil from Sada City. No, that is so we had the, yeah, you drank a few extra than me. Yeah, day. I remember having that guy because I just saw I saw the the style. And was like, oh my god, that sounds amazing. So I remember having it, quite liking it. So Sam was gracious enough to give us a bottle along with a bunch of other cans he gave us to a, maybe a few months ago. So Correct, yes, we thought why not chuck this in the cellar and see what we can do with it because it's already barrel aged as well. That made me feel a bit more confident that it's uh, it's all good to, to keep in here. That's something else we're trying to figure out. If anyone has any thoughts at the yeah. end in the comments, once you've seen the video and what we have, if there's some things maybe we shouldn't age, let and, us know uh, and we'll whip them out. And what are good styles them. to age or any particular beers that age really well? Yeah. Let us know and we'll get a hold of it. And We're still learning with this. That, yeah. Like I said, this is so super new to us. So we actually got this one. That's pretty special, I think. This is a special one. This was, when did we get this? We got this uh, two days ago? Yeah. Yesterday. I from Magic Hat so, yeah. yesterday. So we got it from Magic Hat. They actually whipped this out. This is a barrel aged, uh, wee heavy Scotch ale that they kept for their staff party for um, for Christmas, and they gave us a few bottles. Guess they have some leftovers. Super and Chris, kind. Uh, Chris from Magic Hat, yes. chucked us a couple bottles of that. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. So we're super excited. So we got uh, a couple, and we got one each, and an extra one to age. So I'm just keeping the age one for us. I have another bottle here, and maybe I'll drink one myself, but. I kind of feel like I'm just, we're just getting, how, what are we supposed to do? It's 9.2% barrel A <laughs> scotch ale. It's like, that's for a party. That is. So this one I'm super excited about. You might have, uh, if you've seen the What's in My Fridge video, you would have seen this. I actually moved it to the cellar not long after that, after I realized that they stopped making this. I thought it was a, a regular thing and they only had like, I had a friend, shout to Rob, who gave us the uh, Berlin to Beer Company. He saw this, he was like, yo, should I get me one? And then I was telling you to pick yeah. him up one check their Instagram they're like hey we've got less than 100 bottles left and uh, I got I think Eric checked and he said there was none left so gonna hang on to this one it's a peach saison I believe or farmhouse ale sounds sexy as hell so we'll hang on to it once again if anyone's got any thoughts on these like farmhouse type of brews and the aging process that lime gosa from uh, Burdock Nation. was pretty cool Yes. The key lime goza, remember I got, I got Key that? lime goza. Oh, yeah. from Burdock. Yeah, Burdock. Yeah, that was yeah. Burdock yeah, beer I had. I meant to say, yeah. Yeah, Burdock are uh, phenomenal cool. stuff, so I'd like to have some more of them. I'm looking forward to it. These have been going for a while. Tell us about these. So, 
there's that Christmas pack that comes, the St. Bernardus Christmas pack that comes out every year. Yes. Uh, the gift pack, obviously around Christmas time. This way. And uh, they got, well, there, I think there's six in total, six different beers in there was, total. There's a couple wits. Right, there's a wit and some lighter ones. So you decided to age these, the six, the eight, and the, yeah. the twelve? Yeah. And the twelve. So yeah, we got, I bought a Christmas pack and then you bought it for me for Christmas. Yes. So we're like, all right, well look, let's stash one. And we drank one on the day. So what we'll probably do, that was seriously like two and a half years ago. They're super tasty, so I'm, I'm really mm. interested to see... The age process. Yeah, I'm and really we're going to have to maybe wait for next year, Christmas next year and grab... Uh, Another six-pack. Yeah, and do like a side-by-side. -side. Yeah, I think these ones should be really good. I mean, we kept, we drank the, the lighter ones and we kept all the, yeah. like the doubles or whatever, quads and stuff. So these are the ones I was actually telling you about these just uh, yesterday, Scotty. Yep. The two, I think they're the Amiga Brigius. I can never tell... Viking Chili Stout. Hornbeer. Maybe Hornbeer is the brewery. My bad. I'll get it. Hornbeer, so sorry. Good. So that's the Viking Chili Stout, and this one's the uh, Fundamental Black Horn. Is that the one you were talking uh, about that had a mole on That's it? the one I was thinking, yes, yes. So they're both like around this 10%. That's about the same? Uh, yeah, 10%. Yep. Yeah. See, so yeah, a big bowl. Did you notice there's a, there's actually a Best Before date on it? No. What does it say? 2025. This is 2024. Crazy. That's amazing. We were just talking about that with. Matt so that just goes to show me that yes, obviously it's so these. Important. So yeah. these are great to age. Yeah. Anything that's uh, that's a stout, that uh, we're good to go. So these two would be fun to do for a podcast. Maybe we'll break these out in uh, six years. Well, well I never actually had the original of them, so I don't yeah. really know what the difference would be. But I guess you kind of have to have them side by side. How are you supposed to know if it's aged well? One hundred percent. These three are the Bose Greener Futures Project. So I cop this um, maybe. A year or two, I think two years ago on my birthday, I went to Bose and you had to pay a membership. And these are like special barrel aged blends that they do in the brewery. And they've since opened that program up to the general public. So you can just rock up to the brewery and uh, cop some of these. So um, these ones look awesome. This is like a barrel aged winter brewed and a barrel aged bottle imp. So this is like a pretty serious stout with that one. These are, this is a smoked helmet. Oh, the smoked helmet. Which yeah, is, which is yeah, the, the sign up there. Yep. Um, it actually says uh, bourbon barrel. So it's two beers combined, I think. Yes, they blended, yeah. Yeah, so this is um, the bourbon barrel aged Roush stack. Nice. Uh, for five months, barrel aged. And the bourbon barrel aged dark helmet for six months. Damn. So 9% alcohol by volume. Blend it up. And this one's a Channel Gogo. It's the bourbon barrel aged Channel Ocho and a red wine barrel aged Gilgamesh, which is 10.5%. It's another big guy. So these are super fascinating. cool. Yeah. So I've only had. I How long have you been them. sitting there for a little while? A year and a bit. Okay. So um, I picked up the second. The first was April 2015. I got the first few. And then so, like six months later, so it's still late 2015, I picked up the rest. And they've been sitting in. I've been slowly going through it. I had all the lighter ones. I think I, I, think I drank one with you, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had the, um, I think the mission accomplished or mission. That's all oh, the IPA. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was a good one. Um, this one I was just telling you about before. Yeah. This is the 2014 uh, barrel aged Imperial Stout Kentucky Bastard from uh, Nickelbrook. Um, we're talking to, to Jason from Beverage Warehouse in Vermont about this. So this is still, this is probably quite tradable. I drank it when it came out. From, um, notion, my brother had it. But I don't know. So maybe hang on to it for a bit. Maybe open for a trade for that one. That's a wax seal and looking pretty sexy. Um, this is funny. This is the uh, one of our home brews. It's actually <laughs> an inappropriate one to aid and say. Probably. Blueberry Saison from August 2014. It was bottled. I wouldn't say it was necessarily inappropriate. It was a little higher in ABV, but I don't think... Um, it might be interesting to see. Cause it, would be. it could totally be off or it could be delicious. Yeah, it could go either way. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, this one is the other one I was trying to tell you about. Vickers Vice. It's an that, old yeah. from Amsterdam. Just thought it was cool. Wax sealed. It was 8.1%. Uh, kind of like a doubly Trappist style Abbey Ale. Figured it would be good to... Um, these ones don't really tickle my pickle that much. I'm not like huge into them. I don't Abbey Ales? Abbey Ales are ones where they're like... This, I'm sure it's great. <laughs> it's like I, don't, I would rather... If I had it in the fridge, you know, we always talk about preferred styles. Yeah. I would rather... If I saw an IPA in my fridge, I'm going to go that over this any right, day. Right, right. I think I kept fronting on this and fronting on it. Then. Yeah. Ended up just aging it, which yeah. I'm cool with. You should, uh, I, I know you're pretty good with knowing when you purchase them and when you put them in there, but maybe even, I don't know, anyone who right? has a seller, is there any like, um, like a system? system you use to kind of know um, how old the beer it is, maybe when it was bottled, when you put it in the cellar, like some side of, I don't know. No, that's a Maybe a list question. so you know when, when you wanted to drink it, when you can pull it out. Maybe and, you can keep a note in your phone, or yeah, maybe there's a cool app, uh, maybe like there one is. of the beer apps or something for Let that. Let us know, or, comment. Uh, yeah, please, please. 
Uh, last one. This is the other one I was telling you about. The Flying Monkeys Chocolate Manifesto. Got Excuse me. Yeah, got still, the yeah. box. They they actually just dropped a Raspberry Stout the oh, other day. Oh snap! I was gonna cop it. I just got yeah. It's a is little... there a series that like to just like the box yeah, series? Box yeah, ones. yeah. I think I've got most of them. I tried to get them. I just feel like these are worth you know ten or fifteen bucks. I think it's I'd rather get this than yeah. some other stuff. I've hung on to this one for a while. Uh, I had the um, Canadian Maple Porter on mm. Christmas Day, and it was just me and Notion having mm. my brother. No one else would drink it with uh, us. It was too much, man. Yeah, crunk like, up. It was just like sickly. Yeah. You know, what's his name? Who was saying it? Um, someone was saying, maybe it was Chris yesterday, that they go home and they will go and crack open. Yeah, it was Chris. He go crack open a big dog of something kind of from a cellar. Yeah. And um, then he just gets halfway through the first glass. He's like, oh, yeah. Okay. That was that. Falls asleep. And yeah, yeah. It's too much. I needed, you need like four people for these, so this will kind of be like a, either a podcast with a bunch of people who'd appreciate like Christmas it. Christmas type thing. Christmas, yeah. yeah. Just something interesting. I feel like it's going to be a good beer. Cool. So that's my little humble cellar. Um, yeah, I'd love if... Like, you know what? Like, we've spoken to a bunch of people who sort of told us that they've got dope cellars, so maybe if we're in the city or whether it's Toronto or Montreal or maybe we're in Burlington sometimes, like, if you've got a super dope cellar and you want us to come by... Um, we just would love to do one of these little segments and see as many sellers as possible because I think as fellow beer geeks, uh, it's always cool to see what people have in... Um, Show off what you got, right? In the stash, yeah. People who usually sell it want to talk about it, so and hit us up, let it. us know. We yeah. want to see it. Yeah. You want to come by? Maybe we crack open a couple. Maybe something. we can have some. See what's popping. So that's it. If you like the video, give us a thumb th- thumbs up. Uh, I always mess that up. Um, subscribe to us on YouTube. All the links are below. Check out the uh, podcast on iTunes. Subscribe, review, and rate it as well. That really helps us get up there in the rankings. And, uh, of course, follow us on social media at BAOS Podcast everywhere. That's about it. Cheers, guys.